Hey guys, so today we are making one of the most adorable Pokemon in the entire world. That's right, Geodude. What? Geodude is a fire type that knows fire blast and is really good against ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> I'm making Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is my favorite starter Pokemon, so you can imagine my disgust when I looked at the poll that I posted and Bulbasaur is last. Charmander's first with 57%, Squirtle is second with 26%, and Bulbasaur only has 17. What is going on? Who's choosing Charmander and Squirtle instead of Bulbasaur? You're making bad decisions. All right, that's all I gotta say. I love Bulbasaur. I love how cute and how easy this cake is, so let's get started. My name is Ach Cat Achik Ketchup Ketchup Man and my Let's go. Ach Ketchum. I can't say it. What's wrong with the Ash Ketchum? Ketchum. Gotta catch them all. See? Something's wrong with my voice today. Now to create this cake, I started with a 10 inch round cake and it's funfetti. Big surprise. I'm adding my Bulbasaur shape on top and I'm not gonna level this because I'm gonna use the hump to kind of create Bulbasaur shape. Just cut out the Bulbasaur shape, pull away all the excess and then transfer my cake onto my cake stand. So Bulbasaur originally appeared in Bulbasaur in the Hidden Valley. He looks so tough, so fierce, and so adorable, and that's why I loved him. Now, a lot of people will probably disagree with me, but I think Pikachu should have been in the Pokeball, and Bulbasaur should have been walking around. Don't at me! Now, I'm adding buttercream into my first layer of cake and just spreading it out with an offset spatula. Vanilla buttercream, but I have really high hopes of creating different flavors someday. Caramel popcorn buttercream, a mint cookie dough, banana, a rhubarb. Whoa, God, no, not that one, not the last one. I added my next layer of cake, and then I started to round out the sides. Just carve a little bit down to create Bulbasaur shape. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. Now I placed my cake into the fridge to set, and while I was setting, I was watching the first Pokemon movie. Remember that? Pokemon, what was, I don't even remember what it was called. I loved it. I saw it in the movie theater and I remember that I got the Dragonite card. I got the Dragonite. I remember that. You can get the Mewtwo one. There was Pikachu and then there was like another one. What was it? That experience was so cool. Pokemon was just this little show that I would watch in the morning before I went to school. And all of a sudden it like blew up into this movie and then several movies and now there's a theme park and Pikachu is still everywhere. I can't believe it. Now I'm curious, how many of you were able to attend the first Pokemon movie in theaters whenever it came out like a million years ago? And do you remember which Pokemon card you got? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's get back to this cake. I added this green fondant. Oh, it's like it's kind of like a teal, but there's a lot more green in it. Just covered my entire cake, pushed the fondant down, and then just pushed it under with some fondant tools. That way, it kind of looks like a whole face and not just like the bottom of a cake. Now, I make a ton of Pokemon cakes on this channel, including this extremely impressive Pikachu cake. It's impressive to me because it didn't fall over. It was one of my first 3D Pokemon cakes and it stood, stood like a champion. And if you want to see this video and so much more, I will link some stuff at the end as well as in the description box. Now using the same fondant tool, I'm going to give Bulbasaur his smile and just add two teeth to the end. Now I created Bulbasaur's eyes with the white pieces of fondant and just applied them with some magic sauce. The thing that I love most about Bulbasaur is I love the red in his eyes. Red usually doesn't look good on character eyes. It looks like demonic. It looks so like evil. But with Bulbasaur, it just looks cute. I mean, I think that's kind of why I love him is because there's so many elements that can look so scary and yet they found a way to make it look adorable. So his eyes, some catch lights, and then I gave him some spots as well. Oh, the freckles too. I'm a sucker for freckles, you guys. And voila, we got Bulbasaur. But I didn't want this to just be Bulbasaur's face. So the first thing I did was grab a larger cake board 
I cut out Bulbasaur's bulb and then I just used some fondant tools to make it look like three separate leaf pieces. He added Bulbasaur's head, a little bit of fondant at the bottom for his body, and then two Bulbasaur hands. And voila, my Bulbasaur cake was complete. Simple, right? The small amounts of detail that you put onto the cake board really add so much depth to this cake. It looks like a Bulbasaur kind of painting or something. And I'm so happy his came out so well because he's my favorite. He's the one that deserves more praise, especially after he got the lowest votes. I'm really disappointed as you guys, I gotta say. I can't believe it. I'm gonna say to you what my mom says to me when I do something bad. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. You're gonna eat peanut butter and jelly tonight. <laughs> I'm curious, who do you like better? Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle? If it's not Bulbasaur, I'm gonna delete your comment. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be so funny. No, but seriously, tell me which starter and then tell me why. Now make sure you hit the notification button so you can see the videos I post on this channel as soon as they go up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!